I've done quite a few videos in the past talking about OBS plugins, whether it's my favorites, whether it's a specific plugin to do something really unique and cool with audio or with moving around your camera, stuff like that. And plugins on OBS are incredible and they really do open the world of possibilities that you can do inside the software. But one of the problems is OBS doesn't really natively support a way for you to update those plugins when they do have updates, especially when OBS versions update, a lot of those plugins do need to get updated along with it. And there's no real way to know when some of those updates need to happen unless you're following the creator or you're constantly checking the plugin page. Well, today I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of the tools that I've been using for a while and it actually came up in a recent discussion with someone, which is why I'm making this video, but it really does help streamline updating all of your plugins, keeping them up to date, and just making sure that all of your plugins are working as intended. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop onto the computer. All right, so the meat and potatoes of what we're gonna be talking about today is right here. It is the StreamUp plugin installer, and this is actually gonna be a kind of a two-parter. This is just gonna be our initial step and the plugin installer is a great tool. It's not just good for updating, it's also just good for grabbing tons of plugins. They are constantly updating their list of plugins that are supported, and majority of the plugins that I use are supported in here, which is great. It really makes a big difference. So you're gonna have to go ahead and log in to get that thing downloaded. And once you do, I already go, went ahead and threw it into a folder. So we're gonna go ahead and run the plugin installer. It's gonna give you this little pop-up here. You can make it so that you don't show this message again if you want to, entirely up to you. We're gonna agree and continue. Now it's gonna go ahead and try to connect to their API and it's gonna grab the full list of plugins. So as we can see right now, they have 99 plugins that they support. And this is great. As I've mentioned over the last even couple of months, this number has just continuously gone up and it's really great to see. So by default, we have, a, we have some radio buttons here and by default, it's on required plugins. Required plugins, what that means is it is what's required for the other StreamUp tools to operate properly. So if you are using StreamUp's other tools, you hit this required plugins, it'll go ahead and just grab all of the plugins that are required for those. That doesn't really apply to what we're doing today, but again, this tool is handy for a lot of other things like recommended plugins. So all of the ones that re they recommend that you use these, a lot of these are ones that I use personally. So I use the Atom Multistream, I use the Atom Vertical. Um, I use, let's see, what else do they have here? I use the Move plugin. I use Scenes as Transitions. I use Source Clone, Copy, and Source Defaults. I use the StreamUp, which we'll get to in a second. I use the transition table. So there's a lot of really good plugins in here. And then you can also choose required and recommended. So it'll select all of those. You can select all, but I highly recommend that you don't do that. And the main reason we're talking about this thing today is the outdated plugins. So this will go ahead and find any plugins that you currently have installed that are out of date. Um, but before we do that, Let's go ahead and just install a plugin in general. So right now, this is going to install or download the plugin to the folder that we select. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do custom. I'm gonna clear selection. We're gonna go ahead and grab the StreamUp plugin itself. All right, so if we select that, let me go ahead and download it. It is gonna automatically download it to this folder. Now we can change it so that it goes and opens up a URL instead so that we can manually download it ourselves entirely up to you if you go ahead and do that it's going to say we're going to open up one link it's going to open up that link and then we can go ahead and down this download this from here if you get one of the other more standardized so for example something like move let me go ahead and open that up it's going to bring us to the obs project forum where this is being hosted so that's entirely an option for you we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the automatically extract instead um, and we're gonna go and we're gonna grab that stream up one and we're gonna go and download the plugin. It's gonna download it to the folder that we had that in there. And as we can see, we have the downloaded files and if we didn't have the automatically extract, this is where the files would be, but we do have it set to automatically extract and what it's gonna do, it's gonna create an OBS studio and inside there, it's gonna put the data that it requires as well as the plugin folders. So the really nice thing is you can just grab this, you can copy it, Go to your C program files and then just paste in here 
it's going to ask us to replace the files because I already have some, but we're just gonna go ahead and replace it. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And now it has updated in here and it has added that plugin to my OBS Studio folder. So now if I go ahead and run OBS, we're gonna get a nice little pop-up that is gonna be very handy for us. So now as we saw there, the stream up pops up here and it tells us these are all of the ones that you need to update. We can download it directly from here if we want to, um, but we don't have to do that because we have the stream up tool. So um, if that doesn't come up for you automatically, you just go to tools, you go to stream up, and then you would go to check for OBS plugin updates. And you can also go ahead and go back there and you go to settings and you can make sure that the run plugin checker on OBS startup is there. Um, so that is entirely an option. So now, now that we have that going, we can come back here and if we did the outdated, it's going to go ahead and grab those same ones that it mentioned were outdated. But what I wanna do is I wanna make the downloading the plugins quite a bit easier instead of having to move them between folders we can change this to our program files folder. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select this and we're gonna go and grab our C program files and we're gonna go to OBS Studio. We're just gonna copy this and we're gonna put this right here. And we're gonna select this folder and now we're gonna get a pop-up that says program files detected. You are gonna, downloading directly into this, you need to use the elevated rights. So we're gonna go ahead and press yes. And as we can see here, it is running with elevated privileges. Uh, normally you would get your little pop-up, you would press yes to it. I have that turned off right now just to make things a little bit easier. But now we can go ahead and really easily update all of our plugins without having to move any files around. We just have to launch this. Go ahead and we're gonna select our outdated. It's gonna go ahead and grab the move the scene collection manager, the source record, anything else that needed updating. And we're just gonna press download plugins. What it's gonna do is gonna create a backup first of your OBS folder, just in case anything in this installation goes wrong or one of the plugins just causes issues. You can go ahead and revert to the backup. And we're just gonna go ahead and let this thing do its thing. I will be back when it's done. And I didn't even have to do any editing. It was done by the time I almost finished that sentence. So. It'll tell you that everything's been done. If there's any issues, please restore the backup, right? So if we go back into the stream up folder, there is a backup here and we can go ahead and grab our backup, which is very handy. And now if I go ahead and run OBS, our plugins have been updated. If I go ahead and run the stream up uh, update tool, all of our plugins have been, are up to date and installed correctly. So again, this thing is super, super handy. It is, it has made my life a lot easier when updating plugins. I always avoided having plugins installed just because they always caused me issues with having to keep them up to date all the time. So I tried to keep my plugins super minimal, but I've been exploring with a lot more plugins lately. I've been using a lot of really great ones. And this is also a really cool way to find some new plugins to try out. For example, I've been using Tuna a ton. I've been using some of the retro effects quite a bit as well. This is a really fun way to kind of explore some new ones, but the main reason that I use the Streamup plugin installer is to just keep my plugins up to date and it has made that so much easier. With all that said, I hope that this video has helped you find a new tool to keep all of your plugins up to date and has kind of gotten rid of that headache that I used to have with just keeping all those plugins up to date, especially when you got a lot going uh, I really do hope that you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, really appreciate it if you leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them all as quickly as I can. Big thanks to my patron sponsors and big thanks to you for watching to the end of this video. If you wanna see any other videos where I talk about streaming, I talk about OBS plugins, I talk about some really cool ways to do things, you can go ahead and check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.